queen of she will if you like i'm here to do my first huge haul of everything i've bought from the drugstore over the last maybe month or two or so so let's get started we're going to start with skincare my favorite item i've been using on the daily is this mask from Shea Moisture. it's a african black soap clarifying mask i've used this for like mm, maybe the first maybe a couple of weeks and i mix it with this let me see if it's in focus it's a charcoal black and black charcoal black sugar mask dual action scrub facial mask and it's for a parafine and parodies and all for all skin types so what i do is this warm tingling sensation and it feels amazing and i let it sit on my skin for like mm, maybe 20 30 minutes or longer you know because we get lazy and then i wash the other and i feel like it was amazing this marcello water from l'oreal is for all natural skin types normal to oily skin and i think the regular price is 10.99 for this one lately i've been using this nip nip vibe hydrating dragon's blood fix plumping serum that is too much to say i've used this one the retail price for this one was about i think it was about i think 1990 it looks like this it has hyaluronic acid this is hyaluronic acid hydrates for plumping looking skin but i use this with the mary Kay um overnight serum as my moisturizers because my face does not like recent i've been wanting this because i've seen this online on YouTube a thousand times and my girl Jackie Ina been using it and a couple of other youtubers this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cream and it's for extra dry skin it doesn't have a scent it kind of smells like I don't know what this scent is but it's kind of watery it's like a gel it looks it's really watery I tried it on last night and it dries it like it kind of mattifies your face or something like I don't know what's in this but it says instantly quench your skin and keeps your skin looking smooth the Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleansing gel and I got this from CVS also I think the retail price at CVS was about I think $19.99 and I don't think I paid that much it's boost hydrates for soft supple skin it smells like i don't know what this smells the neutrogena hydro boost gel cream for your under eye let me show you what it looks like it looks like this it's just a little bitty tube i'm not sure how far or long this will last i've been getting dark circles under my eyes and that is not cute girl so I've been trying to hydrate under my eyes lately so I'm gonna try this out I just tried it last night it didn't break me out so so far so good and this is the hydro boost gel so oh my nip vibe glyconic scrub fix and an exfoliator exfoliator it felt it seemed like it worked it had the hyaluronic acid and high like clonic acid in it but it seems like it, it, it just left me with these little like fever bumps not like pimples on my face and I didn't like it body wash I have this soft soap sweet honeysuckle and orange peel moisturizing body wash for two I think it was 247 um I haven't tried this one yet it smells good um but it was only two dollars because when I first bought them they were I think two forty seven and then so now I have the Dove dry oil bitty bars and it has argan oil in it. I bought this for my son because he has eczema 
and it was on clearance for 50 percent off and it was like four dollars or something like four and some change and now i have the quenching sea mineral moisturizing conditioner from o gx i don't know if you can see that i also got the shea soft and smooth shampoo by the same brand ogx you can only use shampoo um only use shampoo about once a month because i dip condition my hair every week and i'm trying to grow my hair my hair is already long and then i have the keratin oil is for anti-breakage anti-breakage and keratin oil conditioner by the same brand OGA and then this the one is, is for thickening thick and fuller hair so I have all three of those but they're all conditioners I have the shampoo and I use it sometime but mostly I buy all conditioners I have the shampoo and I use it sometime but mostly I buy the conditioner this one wasn't on sale no Jesus this lovely gel right here is by the main choice it's a crystal orchard Barton and Fields Styling Gel. Girl, matter of fact, I'm gonna put a little piece on my edge right on my baby hair right now, girl. This lovely stuff is crazy. I don't know what they put in this stuff. It reminds me of like that old school, um, when people used to have jerry curls. It reminds me of that. I was scared to use it because I thought I was gonna make my hair greasy. But harder when it comes to hair care products. It ain't no black people where I live that's checking for that. So I'm gonna buy them all. Quenching coconut curls curling hair butter leave-in or rinse out conditioner by the same brand OGX. Oh, my handy dandy eco styler gel. So I bought this one from Walmart and I think it was like $3.99 or four. The Carol's Daughter Almond Milk. I bought a Carol's Daughter. It was another one that had some clay in it. Girl, I used that one up and I got that one on clearance also from CVS. Um, and it was on clearance for $3.49. I don't know. It smells like almond. I don't know. It smells like cocoa butter. Like old school cocoa butter. Like the Palmer's cocoa butter with the brown top that you can get the big jug for like two dollars and then it lasts forever. And then you put it on, you still be ashy because you think you did something. Because your mama bought it because it was on discount at the beauty supply store. Sterile breath to dentist recommended fresh breath my um mouthwash. Almond milk conditioner, a deep conditioning uh, mask from Carol's daughter also, and I think I paid I think it was $3.99 for this and I bought. So all I do is buy stuff all the time, like a hoarder, but whatever, what do you do? This is why I'm making um, YouTube videos because I need to do something with my time and show all this crap that I bought. So this is a Maybelline Blackest Black, um, lots of lashes mascara, and it has this little bitty um, tip at the end of the brush. It has some um, e.l.f. Um, setting sprays that was coming out soon that was at our store but this is the regular this is the new one this is the luminous mist and set i've been using the regular one that's like three dollars or whatever that you can get anywhere or order online but this one girl i don't know what the scent is but i want to try this out because i feel like a lot of mattifying foundations just dry just leave your face looking dry but you don't i want to look like i got skin i don't want to look like a muppy baby so I bought two of those and I got it on. Turned it out on my hand and on my face last night. And I don't think that they look dark enough in the pan. They're really creamy. But it disappears on my skin. Like I don't even see anything. But the mirror is bomb though. Y'all see that? <laughs> I said Jackie, I know. So and then from Ulta. I ordered this um, NYX gel primer for my um, eyeshadows, like the glitter eyeshadow, the little LA Girl Pro Conceal color correctors in the color. What is this? This is just the orange corrector, and this is a peach corrector. 
The peach character is kind of white on me, but I mix the two together and it works fine. And then at Walmart by my house, because ain't that many black people checking for the cosmetics out here but me, I found two Fit Me concealers. Just the regular Fit Me concealers in the color Cafe Girl. It was on clearance for $3. The first when I first seen it, I didn't buy it, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to freaking regret it. But when I went back, they were still there. I was like, see how Jesus do that? Go look at them, Jesus. And then from my from CVS, I bought the Wet n Wow um, Crown of Canopy, and the 3 is 322B. And then, I know this is long, y'all, my bad. <laughs> I bought the Cine Mini Palette, and I bought this because my girl Aisha on YouTube, um, she uses this one, and she did like a pink look, and it was amazing. L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glow or more um, glow boosting drops. And so I tried it out. This is the this is the darker shade. And I didn't use it today, which I should have, but I thought it was going to conflict with my um, LeBron's, you know. So, I like it. I think I, would, I wouldn't I would use it by itself. But it'd be pretty in the summer, and you can add it, like, to your lotions or whatever. But Or you can put it under your highlighter to boost your highlighter. And I think these little thing was $14.99, but guess what? I had a coupon. And then I bought the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glotion. Natural Glow Enhancing Lotion. And this is the color Deep. It looked like it's my skin color, the whole two. I use it today under my LeBron's to like intensify it a little bit. But this is what it is. This is it right here. You can't really see it. It's like a natural glow. And it looks really pretty. I feel like I'm going to try this to mix this with my foundation and see how it comes out. I'm not sure. Why I'm talking about bronzers, you know. <laughs> Let's talk about the La Bronze. I am so sad that I didn't get La Peach. And I need to get it because, you know, I am a faithful Jackie Ina fan. Um, as you can see. And um, this is La Bronze. This is really loose, so you have to be careful. But this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. When I first got it in my mail, in the mail, even my kids was excited. Look, look, look at that. It's blinding. You can't even see it because it's blinding. Oh my god. I don't know what this is. It feels like this like liquid crack or something. If I wish I could like drink it and then it just like starts seeping out of my body and I just walk around like this all day. Because it's just that beautiful. And I bought the bundle. This one was $28 by itself. And I bought the bundle just with the bag. The little makeup bag is sitting back there. And the makeup bag was only $7. Which is on my face right now. The Maybelline Stay for Coverage Foundation. 24 hour foundation. It says it's transfer proof. I'm not sure about that yet. And it for the last 24 hours. We will see. But I don't plan on using this for 24 hours. And I got the color 36, I mean 356 Warm Coconut. And I bought the Fit Me Foundation in 355 Coconut. And which is weird, I usually use this shade. And it feels like it's a it's a smidge. It's a little smidge too light. So I have to mix it with the 360. What is that? Cafe or mocha or something? You know, because it's always a mocha or a cafe for the black people. I have to mix a, like a smidge of that to get this color. And then I've been using the Wet n Well Photo Focus Natural Finishing Spray. I mean, there's nothing to write home about. So I've been using the ColourPop um, Precise Brow Pencil. And I bought four of them. And I think this is blackish brown. Or blackish black, whatever this is. Let me see black and brown and i bought four of these and i was like oh baby jesus and once you twist it up you can't twist it back down and it breaks super easy look at these brows we're just gonna sit here and buy these brows for a 